Hello everyone, I'm Brendan Marcel. This is Joel A. Erickson. Uh, it's a Monday and we talked to Gus Malzahn, a couple of players, and it's Monday, but it's actually, I don't know what day this is supposed to be, but Wednesday. 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 It's Wednesday. It's a game Thursday, Auburn at number 20, Kansas State. It is a big game, first true road test, obviously the first road game, but it's really big for Auburn on the national level. It's, yeah, it, 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 if you look at the schedule this week, it's really the only game uh, with two ranked teams uh, on the entire docket. It's yeah. a it's a big time game. Saturday schedule is not that heavy. Well, I take that back. Clemson and uh, Florida, Florida State. State. My bad. Uh, but still, clearly a marquee game uh, in a week where there aren't a bunch of them. Uh, Bill Snyder on the Big 12 teleconference today kind of said something interesting. It kind of, I mean, more of an honest answer than you normally get from coaches on this stuff. Said. You know, they, he was asked, you know, how big is this for your program, being in the spotlight, playing yeah. a big-time team on Thursday? And he was like, well, ask me on Thursday night. He said, if, it, if we, if it's successful, it's a huge deal. If it's not, and it hurts quite a bit. So it, kind of an interesting answer from Snyder. Gus, Gus said what he usually says about matchups like this. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's their first road test. They get to see where they are, they are at this point. But they go into this game about like a nine to ten point favorite, mm-hmm. according to those in Vegas who make a lot of money to do those type of things, make those decisions, which is not surprising. Uh, but really, what you what you're looking at here is an opportunity for Auburn to, if they are getting just a teeny tiny lack of respect, which we've kind of seen in the polls, just from the standpoint of they're not getting a first place vote, which one of the top five teams there, but they're the only team not getting that. That's going to work itself out here in the next few weeks anyway to where it's going to be two teams probably getting votes like usual. Right. But if they can go in and beat Kansas State and do so soundly, that's when you start telling people, okay, all right, this team is is for real. Maybe they're a top three team. Maybe they move up a little bit depending on what happens over the next couple of weeks. Big game from that standpoint because after this one, they play Louisiana Tech, which, by the way, has been playing very well here mm-hmm. early in the season. So they can go into that game with some confidence and then the national attention of going, you know what, this is a legit top five team. Any concerns that people have probably had, you know, here's the thing, and I'm going way too deep into this, but there's always that stigma of they were a lucky team last season. Right. And that's been hovering over the team ever since, especially from the poll voters. You still hear them even talking about it. Going in and beating Kansas State soundly, I think erases all of that. Yeah, it, the other thing is, even even if Kansas State did struggle with Iowa State, which uh, I think most people who watch that game thought maybe Kansas State isn't as good as we think, right. Bill Snyder's name carries a lot of weight nationally. So no matter what Kansas State actually is, a big win for Auburn uh, has a lot to do with that. Well, this is our last uh, formal media availability, so we've got one more video for you, and then we'll be heading off to, uh, to the middle of the country. Flying on an airplane. Dead time, middle of the country. Uh, on Wednesday, uh, along with that's when the team's leaving too. So we'll have more, more stuff getting getting down to the Kansas State centric stuff uh, on AL.com.